Okay, let's continue. Um, what we are going to do now is to give the particles some shape. So, create a particle geometry and drag the particles into the new particle geometry objects. And as you can see, uh, let me got just get out of the camera. As you can see, every particle has now got a shape, which is the same particle, not no, the same uh, um, polygon that uh, it has on the uh, text object. But uh, right now they are very aligned; they are not looking so random. So we are going to give it a bit of spin. So go to thinking particles, standard spin, and connect. Collect, connect it to the particles pass. Um, give it a. Let's give it 1000, 1000, and 1000. Of variation, where variation, and evil time to one. And uh, give it a bit of variation here too, and that should be it. Let's see how that looks. Yes, that's better. But uh, tr uh, let's take this time down too. Let's see what happens. Well, they are definitively more random, but not enough. Let's take the variation down. I'm not very experienced with uh, the this node, so uh, I might have to give it a few tests to see how to get the best results. Just bear with me. Okay, I'll just pause it until I uh, find a good solution. Okay, I find us. I've uh, found a solution. What you gotta do is to give it a face of, I don't know, 265. Seems to work, and just let it be. Give it a bit of variation, perhaps, but uh, that's all. Check the camera box and play. Now it's a lot more random, and it's starting to lag. I see that we might have to change the camera. Just go out of the camera and select this keyframe right here. Mm. Uncheck auto tangents. Go to top view and drag it. Let's see how that is. Yeah, that's better. Alright, uh, I think we're ready to hit the render, but uh, at first we have to to uh, set up our lightning lighting. So uncheck the camera and uh, create a sky object. Create a material, go check luminance, uncheck everything else. And I'm going to load a, a uh, blurred HDR I have. If you do not have a blurred HDR, you can upload a you can load a regular HDR, but uh, you can then blur it with these controls. I don't have to do that because mine is blurred already. Um, it's important that it's blurred unless you won't be getting uh, a good lighting and uh, you won't be getting the uh, bokeh effect. So uh, yeah, now we have our lightning our sky and uh, I think we'll have to uh, I have to just change it a bit so it looks better when we are rendering it
Alright, um, just go into the render settings, give it global illumination, put the settings to low, and check details enhancement. We don't need anti-aliasing, go to output. You can render at whatever resolution mode you want, but I'll render it at uh, the 16 to 9. 16 to 9 uh, aspects, but uh, not at the same resolution because that takes too long. I'll save it to a new folder, call it fragments. And I'll save it with uh, as open EXR. We'll also add a bit of ambient occlusion and uh, set the maximum length to 50 and accuracy to 55. Maximum samples 100. Minimum 6. Okay, that should be it. Oh, wait, all frames. frames. Alright, um, let's just test render frame. So I think I'll... oh wait, we have to make a material. Give it completely white. Specular is low and wide and apply it to both the particle geometries. And now we just render. I'll just pause it until it's done. Okay, it's done rendering, and as you can see, it's a bit dark, so I'm going to add a light source. Just uncheck the camera, select the uh, Maxon low poly version, and uh, create a target light. And just push position it where you want it. I'm going to put it up here. and it will have soft shadows and it will be will be a area pretty wide there we go um oh yeah i almost forgot we are not going to use the hype the low poly so just delete the low poly and drag the high poly in where the low poly was then go into the espresso manager and on the p shape drag high poly in there now we have the high poly. This is going to make it look better when we are rendering, but uh, as you can see there's a lot more particles, so it will take longer to render. Just check the camera and uh, let's do another test render. I'll just pause it. Alright, it's done rendering and uh, I think it looks great, so I'll just put it to render. Uh, Settings looks good. Frame rate 25. Alright, just render it and uh, I'll come back when it's done. Okay, uh, it's done rendering and I have loaded the uh, all the, f all the uh, pictures into After Effects and I'll just p press play and see how it, how it looks. Alright, nice, but uh, as you can see it's moving in the wrong direction, so we are going to add a time reverse, so go to layer, time, time reverse layer, and if we click play now, it's forming the letters instead of dissolving it. Uh, I think it's moving a bit too fast, so yeah. I'll just take it down to 25. There we go. Alright, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, I hope you 
learned some new stuff and uh, have fun with Cinema 4D. Goodbye.